Hey guys, Alex Lindblom here from Snorkel Venture and Dive Safari Asia uh, in a new little project that I'm working on where we're going to talk about some um, different equipment, whether it be underwater film and photo, uh, snorkel gear, or of course diving gear as well. I'm just going to try to get the information out to you as quick as possible so you don't have to waste a whole bunch of your time uh, watching these little videos, but I do hope they are quite informative. Today what we're going to be talking about is masks and how to choose the best mask, whether it be snorkeling or diving. So I have quite a few different masks here of varying uh, brands. I have a Hollis one, a couple Scuba Pro ones, and then uh, my personal Aqualung mask. And my personal opinion on choosing a mask is that price doesn't matter. You could spend $100 on a mask and it still might not fit you. So uh, really the most important thing is how it fits. I would not recommend choosing a mask online unless of course you can uh, return the mask to uh, the manufacturer should it not fit. Because as I said, making sure the mask fits you correctly is the most important thing. Uh, not how it looks, but whether it uh, does not leak. That is vital. Um, so when, we, when we're selecting a mask, let's take this one for example, we want to hold the mask without the strap and hold it up to your face, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to inhale a little bit, just slightly with our nose, and check for leaks. If the mask stays on and, uh, you know, you can shake your head, look up and down, then that's, there's a pretty good chance that's fitting. We'll talk about some other little uh, nuances of that in a second. So basically what I'm going to do, put it on. And looks to be a good fit. Keep in mind, if you have a giant man beard like this one here, uh, you might you might feel uh, a little bit of air coming in. If you if you feel air of any type coming in around the, the skirt of the mask, this is generally going to mean a leak. So something else to consider is, do you have a giant man beard? In that case, you should probably get rid of it before your trip, or else um, you're not going to get a proper seal. That being said, you can still get a good seal with uh, a bit of stubble. So let's try another man. This is a Scuba Pro. This one lets in a lot of air all around the, the skirt. Uh, and so based on that, I can tell that it's not going to be a good fit for my face. Even though it might look super cool um, and be a reasonable price, it's just not going to work. Um, you, can't, you can't force it. Uh, also something about this mask is when I put it on, I noticed it hit me right here in the forehead. Also something you want to try to avoid, okay? So just try that. Again, more air. Um, I have a very funny face, apparently, or a funny shaped face, and this, can, this has always caused a lot of mask problems for me. So when I find a mask like this one that I have now that I've had for the last year, I keep it. When you find a good one, keep it. Okay, guys, that's about it for this particular subject, choosing uh, the right mask. I hope it's been in, uh, informative for you and uh, leads you in the right direction in your next mask choice. For more blogs and um, information uh, regarding dive gear, camera gear, whatever, uh, you can click on the post description below or check out snorkelventure.com or divesafariasia.com. We, we keep a full list of blogs going uh, on there, uh, all things related. Yeah, okay, cool. See you guys later.